All right, welcome back to the KC Sports Report. Um, as always, I'm your host, Michael Darcy, and today I have the pleasure of being joined by returning guest, Michael Hepner, and we're going to preview the AFC Divisional Round matchup between the Cleveland Browns and your Kansas City Chiefs. The time has finally come, Chiefs Kingdom. Playoff football is finally here, um, and it kicks off in the AFC Divisional Round. Um, the Cleveland Browns come to Kansas City uh, to play the Kansas City Chiefs, and I am absolutely pumped for this game. Um, I think this is going to be a great matchup, and if everything goes according to plan, uh, the Chiefs should win this game and advance to the AFC Championship game, but we cannot get ahead of ourselves. This is going to be a very good game. Um, the Browns are the shock of the world right now. They, they went into Pittsburgh, a place that they had not won in like over a decade, and they upset the Steelers in their own house um, to move on in the playoffs, which is a big time win. Uh, that's their first playoff win in Cleveland since like the nineties. So that's a big time win, but I think that they will meet their match this weekend. The chiefs are playing great football right now. Um, the Browns are too, but I just think that, uh, the chiefs are on another level. Michael, uh, what do you think about this game? Yeah. I mean, it'll be interesting to, to watch. Uh, obviously the Browns have a, a solid running game. They have, uh, Nick Chubb and, uh, uh, cream hunt so they definitely have a one-two punch and the chiefs defense is not exactly uh it, it's not a strong suit for them they they struggle to uh, defend against the run so um i think the the number one priority for them is going to be shutting down either cream hunt who i think will be the easiest of the two running backs to shut down since he played for us um, and then try and figure out a way to minimize any damage nick chubb can do i agree but to tell you what i mean Kareem Hunt's out for blood. He said after the game that uh, he's going to take this game personally and that uh, we're enemies this week, fellas. So it's going to be a good game, and that's going to be one of the storylines within the game to watch. But this Chiefs defense has some confidence and swagger as well. And if we've learned one thing uh, over the playoff runs, it's that when you challenge this Chiefs defense, it's not going to go well for you. I mean, look what happened to Derrick Henry last year. We held him to 69 yards. So I, I really think that the Chiefs can um, hopefully minimize the, the Cleveland Browns running game. Um, but Baker Mayfield is playing great football. If you guys remember, um, Baker Mayfield was actually the backup to Patrick Mahomes at Texas Tech. And uh, he ended up transferring out, went to Oklahoma and played pretty good football um, at that point. But these two do have kind of a rivalry going on. They, they are familiar with each other, obviously being at the same school. Um, the Chiefs did play the Browns in 2018. Um, at that point, uh, we did have Kareem Hunt, and he was a killer in that game. But, I mean, Baker Mayfield was on that team. Obviously, it's a different Browns team. But the Chiefs are still one of the best teams. And we saw that um, in that first matchup. The Chiefs pretty much destroyed the Browns in Cleveland. Um, obviously, they didn't have Kareem Hunt, and the defense wasn't quite there yet. But, um the Browns are a very good team. And, and I honestly, I wanted this matchup coming into the playoffs, but we can't take it lightly because they got miles Garrett on defense um, on offense. Their offense is stacked. I mean, like you said, they got Nick Chubb, Kareem hunt, uh, Baker Mayfield, Jarvis Landry, um, Odo Beckham jr. Is hurt, but that offense is going to put up points. But Michael, in your opinion, is it going to be enough to beat the chiefs? No, I don't think it will be. Um, while they have all the talent, I don't think it's. Uh, I, I don't think it works well in their system. Um, the reason I think the Chiefs work so well is you have a uh, winning mindset rather than a um, you know a, a stat mindset. Where I feel like all the players on the Chiefs could really care less about you know how many touchdowns they get in the year or how many thousands of yards they get or whether they get the rushing title or the passing title, like. It, it's pretty much get me the ball whenever you can and I'll do the rest. Whereas with a lot of other teams and I feel the Browns are this way, it's more of like, all right, let's get as many touchdowns as we can. Whereas, you know, it, the chiefs are more methodical and like, let's just win. I don't care how we do it. Let's just win. And then things happen. Yeah. And actually um, one thing that I did want to point out is after the Browns beat the Steelers in their house, it was obviously an emotional victory. But at the same time, I just have reason to believe that that was the Browns Super Bowl. When you play a divisional matchup in the playoffs with a team that's basically dominated you for the, the better part of the last decade, I mean, you're going to have extra motivation. And literally, they gave everything they had. Quite possibly, they had 
um, given up everything they had in the tank. Um, they obviously put up 28 points in the first quarter, basically in the blink of an eye, but don't expect that against the Chiefs. It's not going to happen. The Browns were able to basically make uh, Ben Roethlisberger um, feel on edge. He did throw four interceptions in that game, which, um, spoiler alert, that's not going to happen against Patrick Mahomes. But I, I think the Browns had a good run, but I, I can't see them winning this game. Um, I, I just think that the Browns aren't quite there yet. They, they're good. They got Kevin Stefanski as a head coach. He's kind of changed the culture in there a little bit. But the only way I can see the Browns winning this game is by putting up enough points on offense, by running the ball, keeping Patrick Mahomes off the field. And when Patrick Mahomes is on the field, they're going to have to get turnovers, and uh, Miles Garrett is going to have to apply pressure. And he's really the only notable pass rusher on that team. So in my opinion, you double-team him, take him away, and Mahomes is going to have more of a chance to sit back in the pocket. I mean, Michael, what do you think uh, is the Browns' best chance of winning? Well, I mean, obviously the key, I think, is just run the football. I mean, if if the Chiefs can't stop Kareem Hunt and uh, uh, Nick Chubb, I mean, honestly, good luck to the Chiefs. Like, sure, Mahomes can come back in the blink of an eye, but if you can't shut down that run game, you're going to have a beat-up defense. You're going to have Mahomes on the sidelines, and, you know, it's going to be a nightmare, and it's going to be a, a game you don't want to watch. So they need to figure out how to – defend against i mean the key is to stop the run game that is the key throughout uh the playoffs for the defense but specifically this game because you've got arguably the best running back duo right now in the league and um you know it, it, if you can't shut that down it, it basically takes the game away and it, it, it's not like the titans where it's derrick henry level running back it's two good running backs and then a really good quarterback you know it's not a ryan Tannehill here it's it's baker mayfield so it's not um you know a, a team that doesn't have its wide receivers and quarterback to help out the run game um so i i think it'll be i don't think it'll be a, a walk in the park it'll definitely be a, a struggle but i think they'll pull it off i think they will too i mean the chiefs match up very well with the browns on offense defense the browns defense is not good and unless that they can forced turnovers with the back end of their defense, the secondary, which uh, by the way, is not very good. I can't see them winning this game. I, I think that Tyreek Hill and uh, Travis Kelsey are going to have monster games. They're going to exploit that defense. And unless somehow the Browns can get a lot of pressure with their four man rush, which I don't expect. I mean, I just think that the chiefs outmatch this team. The Browns aren't quite there yet. Um, in my opinion, the chiefs just got to put pressure on uh, Baker Mayfield um, the Browns do have a, a pretty good offensive line, but uh, uh, I expect Steve Spagnuolo to uh, draw up some blitz packages uh, and different stuff like that to kind of get after the quarterback. Um, all you got to do is stop the run. I mean, that's obviously easier said than done, but uh, take away Kareem Hunt, take away Nick Chubb. I do not want him having a revenge game. K Kareem Hunt will not beat us. Um, I do not want to see that. So uh, take away the run. Again, easier said than done. Um, the Chiefs got to score early and often. We cannot get behind to this Browns team. Uh, I know that they are not uh, a juggernaut as a team, but falling behind is something that you never want to do. And, and last year was uh, hopefully an anomaly because I don't want to play from behind. So score early and often and make the Browns play from behind because guess what? What can you not do when you are winning a game by multiple touchdowns? It's run the ball. You can't run the ball when you're down. Um, not by a sizable amount. So in my opinion, if the Chiefs do all of that, uh, this is going to be a great game, and hopefully uh, they can secure the win. So this is going to be a great AFC Divisional matchup. We're going to come back to you guys with more playoff content, uh, break down this game even further, um, and talk about some of the interesting storylines that meet um, within this game. So if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe for future Chiefs content. Um, again, we are so close to uh, 5K on the channel, so hit that subscribe button. Um, I, I appreciate Hebner coming on. Uh, this has been a really fun uh, last couple of weeks. We've been making a lot of Chiefs content and uh, hopefully covering this team um, and their journey to running it back. So um, hopefully this Chiefs-Browns matchup is one to remember. And uh, if everything goes according to plan, the Chiefs will be playing in the AFC Championship game. Thank you for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, like and subscribe for more of the best Chiefs content on YouTube. You can also support the channel through the Patreon and follow us on Instagram. The links to those are in the description. 
You just listened to the KC Sports Report by Michael Darcy.